and a usually high number of unemployed people refusing to work. That's according to the Alabama Department of Labor. And CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon is live outside the Birmingham Career Center. She's there to explain how this is affecting local businesses. Hillary? Well, there's no doubt, guys, that times are still tough during these times of the pandemic and unemployment rate. Just to give you a perspective, in May of this year, the unemployment rate was 9.9%. And again, give you a perspective, it was 3% back in 2019. But the Alabama Department of Labor tells me despite unemployment going down, they are seeing a high number of those on unemployment refusing to work, which could be fraud. Tara Hutchison with the Department of Labor says about 3,200 people's unemployment benefits have stopped due to refusing to work, and 900 claims were already denied for the same reason. Hutchison says unemployment insurance tax is paid by the business owners, so it's impacting them the most. If uh, benefits continue to, to be paid to employees who uh, do not legitimately deserve them or are not receiving them because of valid reasons, then that will in turn increase those tax rates on, on employees in the state. If you want stuff, you have to work for it. If what, you're, what you have is not enough, you just work a little more or you work a little harder. And I can't even imagine people not wanting to work. That was Shirley Abbs, owner of the Ark Restaurant in Riverside. She says she has lost several employees after they were refusing to return to work, which has left her shorthanded. In fact, she says she's in desperate need of at least six employees. Now, the Alabama Department of Labor told me that their unemployment trust fund balance was $750 million before the pandemic started. Now it's at $300 million and continuing to decrease. Live in Birmingham, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right, Hillary, thanks a lot. Now let's get a